I'm Andrea with Edgar Equine and I have Frosty with me today again. We're going to continue on with our horse anatomy series today and talk about the stifle. So the stifle is essentially your horse's knee. It is a, a joint that is actually, so this would be your horse's hip and up kind of in where this crevice is, but in deeper is where the actual joint is, um, the stifle joint. So that is surrounded by uh, various muscles, tendons, tendons and ligaments that help support the stifle and uh, is known as part of the stay apparatus that helps your horse stay upright when they're at rest, uh, which is why horses can sleep standing up. So anyway, what are some different things that you might see if your horse is experiencing stifle weakness? They might have um, difficulty stopping is one of the big things that you're going to notice. They can actually kind of like stutter to a stop if they're stopping hard. Um, they're going to have difficulty with the canter or lope gait in particular and um, picking up the different leads correctly. Um, they might even have or like low back pain which is from the compensation that they're experiencing from trying to so support that stifle. Um, they'll also have uh, what's called circumduction of their hind legs sometimes, which is kind of their gait kind of swings outward um, in a circular motion rather than doing the forward and back motion that they normally do. So that's another indication uh, that they could be experiencing some stifle problems. So there are some things that you can do as a horse owner to help strengthen the stifle area. And those include backing your horse regularly. And that means not with their head in giraffe position, but like proper backing with their, their head level and um, not just a step or two, but like consistent backing up will help strengthen that area. Um, doing hill work, particularly walking down hills is really good for strengthening the, both the hip and the stifle as well as the low back. Just getting all of that area really uh, nice and strong. Um, another thing that is good is working with ground poles, uh, walking and trotting over the poles and then eventually as they get stronger raising the poles a little bit so they have, uh, have to work a little bit harder to lift their legs properly over those poles. Um, and then also uh, tail pulls to the side, um, I'll show you in just a second, but they actually help to strengthen um, the tensor fasciae muscle which is, uh, supports both the hip and the stifle. But to do that, all you're gonna is you're gonna take the horse's tail from the side like I said and again you're just gonna do light pressure um, every time I teach tail pulls I try to harp on this that you don't want to crank back with all your weight because you can actually injure your horse that way but just with a light pressure just pulling to the side and I'm bracing my hand against his hip here that will get the opposite um, the opposite leg so it's more comfortable there and just help to, to get them nice and supple so that will help with uh, support of the stifle joint as well. So if you have any questions about any of the things that I discussed today, please don't hesitate to ask as always. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel so that you can get more tips and tricks on how to work with your horses. And thank you so much for watching today. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon.